स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड एट मैं चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन इज गोइंग ऑन इन दिस चैप्टर इन लास्ट फ्यू सेशन वी गेट द फॉर्मुलाज टू फाइंड द सरफेस एरियाज for the cuboids cubes and cylinders for cube and cuboid we get the idea for two formulas the total surface area tsa and lateral surface area lsa and for the cylinder we get the formulas Also, two formulas. One for the TSA means total surface area, and other is the CSA or LSA can be also because it is curved surface area, so we can call it CSA. So now let's start the exercise, which is based on these formulas. Exercise number eleven point three. In question number one. there are two figures are given and their dimensions are also given there are two boxes and first of all what we have to find we have to check that which box requires the lesser amount of material to make it means that here the all the surfaces are to be made so we have to find the total surface area of both the boxes and then check the then you compare if the tsa is less whose is lesser than the other which will require the less material so first for box a there is cuboid So length, breadth, and height are given. Length is sixty centimeter. Breadth is forty centimeter, and the height H is fifty centimeter. So now box is to be made. It means all the six surfaces are to be considered. so we have to find that total surface area so tsa of cuboid is equal to 2 into bracket lb plus bh plus lh so 60 into 40 plus 40 into 50 plus 50 into 60. So 60 multiplied by 46 for the 24, 2400. For the 20. So 2006 for the 30. So 3000. That is 2 multiplied by 7400. That is fourteen thousand eight hundred centimeters square. So now, for box B, that is cube. One is cuboid. The other one is cube because dimensions are same. So length of side L. is given 50 cm so now the tsa tsa of cube box or cube is equal to 6 times l square so 6 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 50 Five is a twenty-five. 
multiply by 6 150 and 2 zeros means 15,000 centimeter square now compare them whose TSA is less the TSA of cuboid is less 14,000 here it is 15,000 here 14,800 so now TSA of box A is lesser than box B. Therefore, box A requires lesser amount of material to make. So here as we saw that the material needed is the TSA of the solid shape. So here we have to find TSA of both the solids. One is cuboid, the other is cube. And we saw that the TSA of cuboid is lesser than the cube TSA of the cube. It means that the box A requires lesser amount of material to make. In question number two, the question is long, so I'm not going to write down the question, but we will read the question and then we will carry on with the formulas and whatever. A suitcase with measures 80 centimeter, 48 centimeter by 24 centimeter means that the length, breadth and height are given. So for cuboidal suitcase length is given how much length is 80 centimeter breadth B is 48 centimeter and the height is also given that is 24 centimeter. Now let us read again with the continue. Is to be covered with a tarpaulin cloth. It means we have to make a cover of it. How many meters of tarpaulin up with 96 centimeter is required to cover 100 such suitcases? So we have to cover the suitcase with the tarpaulin. So first of all we have to find the total area of the tarpaulin required. And that will be the TSA of the suitcase. So first of all we will find the TSA of the suitcase. So now area of tarpaulin needed to cover one suitcase is equal to TSA of cuboidal suitcase that is 2 into bracket LB plus BH plus HL so 2 into bracket 80 into 48 plus 48 into 24 plus 24 into 80 so now we have to do the multiplication 8 8 is 64 So 3840 plus 48 multiplied by 24. Mm -hmm. 
1,152 plus 1,920. Now we have to add them to Six thousand nine hundred and twelve. So two twos are four. So thirteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-four centimeters square. That is the area. Now, what is the shape of that tarpaulin cloth? Obviously, it is rectangle. Now the width is given. So first, we have to find the length of the tarpaulin needed. For making one suitcase. So now, length of tarpaulin needed to cover one suitcase is equal to area divided by breadth. Breadth of the tarpaulin is given. Breadth of tarpaulin is given as how much? Ninety-six centimeter. So area we got is thirteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-four divided by ninety-six. So now. Thirteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-four divided by ninety-six. Ninety-six ones are ninety-six. Forty-two. Four thousand two hundred and twenty. Four thousand four hundred and twenty-two now. So now ninety-six forza ninety-six fiza will be more. So three eighty-four. And again, ninety-six four za. So it is hundred and forty-four centimeter. So to cover one, but we have to cover hundred such suitcases. So we have to multiply it with hundred. Therefore, clothes are tarpaulin. Therefore, tarpaulin. Required for hundred suitcases is equal to one forty four multiplied by hundred. That is fourteen thousand four hundred centimeter. Or maybe the answer will be given in meters by dividing it with hundred. That is hundred and Forty-four meter. So our final answer is that hundred and forty-four meter tarpaulin is required to cover hundred such suitcases. Now the third question. Here, find the side of a cube. Whose surface area is Is six hundred centimeter square. So here we have to go to different way, reverse, because 
Here surface area means total surface area is given when it is not mentioned that it is a CSA or TSA, I mean LSA or TSA, we would consider TSA. So here TSA of cube is given as 600 centimeter square. 600 centimeter square. So now we have to put the formula here. What is the formula of TSA of cube? That is 6L square. Therefore, 6L square is equal to 600. Therefore, L square is equal to 600. The 6 will go in the denominator. So we get L square is equal to 100. So 100 is 10 square. So therefore, L is equal to 10. Therefore, side of cube is 10 centimeter. So here we have to go reverse way that uh, the surface area is given from the area we have to find the side of the cube. Now question number 4. Rukshar painted the outside of the cabinet of measure 1 meter, 2 meter and 1.5 meter. But uh, we have to find the area. But in which bottom of the cabinet is not painted. So except the bottom of the cabinet. It means that we have to find the lateral surface area plus area of the top. So let us write down first the measurements for cuboidal cabinet length L is given as 1 meter breadth 2 meter and height is 1.5 meter so now first we will find LSA I mean the yeah, LSA of cabinet is equal to 2H into bracket L plus B. So 2 into 1.5 into bracket 1 plus 2. 1.5 multiplied by 2 is 3 and 1 plus 2 is also 3. So 9 meter square. And area of top that is a rectangle whose length will be 2 and 1 is equal to length multiplied by breadth. So that is 2 meter, I mean 1 multiplied by 2. That is 2 meter square. Therefore, total area to be painted is equal to LSA of cabinet plus area of the top because only bottom we don't have to paint. So that is equal to 9 meter square plus 2 meter square that is 11 meter square. So the total surface area to cover that paint will be the 11 meter square. Here we are going to finish the session followed by the PDF and if any confusion write down in the comment section. Thank you very much.